recording it. So hi everyone and welcome to this video on uh, just a simple proof to show that the trace of the annihilator matrix or the orthogonal projection matrix is equal to n minus k. So recall, okay, we recall that uh, M matrix M is equal to an identity matrix of order N minus the projection matrix P. And just in case you forgot, uh, this is equal to I N minus uh, P. Well, P is equal to X times X transpose X inverse X transpose. So this is X times X transpose X inverse X transpose, right? Now, uh, we're gonna sort of solve for the trace now. So we get the trace of M is just equal to the trace of this whole thing. So I N minus X times X transpose X inverse X transpose. And uh, we know that by properties of the trace, if you look at the second term, we can freely rearrange that by properties of the trace. So this is equal to trace I N minus uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to force out an identity matrix here. So we get X transpose X inverse X transpose X. So that means I rearrange these two at the end, right? And I know that uh, this thing collapses down to an identity matrix of order K as in what I know for my projection matrix. So this means that the trace of M is equal to I N minus I K. Now we know that if we're dealing with the identity matrix, the rank of the identity matrix is equal to the trace of the identity matrix, which is in this case, uh, the number of uh, particular rows the matrix would have. Well, this matrix here has N rows, I N has N rows and a matrix K has K rows. The operation in between is minus. So that proves that the trace of M is equal to N minus K. And that completes our proof. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.